Greetings, SEBA family. Mr. Reggie here again. We've had one month of virtual programming covered so far. We hope you guys have enjoyed all the content that we've been putting out. Uh, hope you've been sharing, been liking, posting to your pages. And we're just so excited for the next month that we have. I uh, wanted to real quick just give a shout out to the Literacy Fellows from Norfolk Academy under the leadership of Mr. David Kidd. Those guys, those seniors, uh, have been doing some great videos. You're going to see one today as well. Uh, we just want to thank them for their support. They have been doing a great job of working with our kids at Tidewater Park Elementary for several years now. So again, we thank you, uh, Literacy Fellows. You guys are rock stars. So guys, make sure that you're liking, that you're sharing, uh, that you're posting to your own pages as well. And for all those Norfolk alumni, you know, make sure you're checking in. You guys have some rock stars over there. So thanks again, guys. Enjoy our virtual program. Hi, I'm Madeline. Hi, I'm Claire. And we're part of the Literacy Fellows. For Wellness Wednesday, we are going to show you some cool yoga poses that you can do at home. Let's get started. Before we get started, we're going to want to make sure that we stretch a little bit so we don't hurt ourselves while doing yoga. Here are some quick stretches you can do to warm up your body. The next pose we are going to learn today is Cobra. So for Cobra, you start with your hands shoulder width apart, and then you're just going to go down and your feet fly on the back and then press up with your chest to the sky and really feel that stretch. And you're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Our next position is down dog. You're going to want to lengthen through your arms and your legs. If it's too difficult, you can bend your knees a little bit. If you want more of a challenge, you can lift up one leg at a time to reach a three-legged dog pose. Continue lengthening through your arms and your back. Now we are gonna learn cat-cow. So your original starting position is gonna look like this with a neutral back. And for cat, you're gonna arch your back up and hiss. And then for a cow, you're gonna Lower your back down and moo. And now you slowly go between these two poses for 30 seconds each. And then you can go hiss, moo, hiss, moo. For this next position, we're gonna do warrior one and warrior two. You're gonna take a deep lunge and bring your arms to heart center and open towards the sky. Then you're going to bring your arms out to the side and turn your body to the side while keeping your gaze to the front. You can also rotate and do this on the other side. Find your deep lunge, reach up, and then open your arms up and turn to the side. The next pose I'm going to teach you guys today is the tree pose. So I'm going to use my left leg and balance on my right. So I'm gonna bring my left leg up to my knee and then bring my arms above my head and really balance with my foot. And I'm gonna stay like this for 30 seconds. And then you can always switch off. So I'll switch off from my other leg. My balance is a little worse on this leg, but there we go. And really balance yourself. And your arms are gonna look like this when you're in tree pose. Next, we're gonna do pigeon. The front leg is going to be bent in front of you, and your back leg is going to be straightened behind you. If you need a bit more of a challenge, you can try moving your front leg more forward. Now we're going to bend over our leg and hold it there for a while, lengthening through the stretch. Now time for the other side. You're gonna do the same thing, remembering to lengthen through your back leg and bend your front leg. Again, take that stretch over your leg and relax. Finally, we're going to end in child's pose. You're gonna to wanna to sink back into your feet and really stretch your hands in front of you. To deepen the stretch, you can continue walking your hands further out in front of you. Really relax in this position and take a deep breath.
thanks for joining us. We hope this video was fun and taught you guys a lot of new things. Stay safe and positive. Bye, guys.